Hello everybody, hope you're all doing fantastically well. It is Connor here, and as I sit up, you can buy Leeds United One Leeds merch, links in the description below. As I say, I hope you're all doing really well today. We have done a stream earlier on, make sure you check it out. Bit of a press conference reaction, we're going to be speaking right now on things concerning Leeds United and all that sort of good stuff, so make sure you are slapping a like on the video as always, everybody. Really appreciate it. So, yeah, uh, quick one to start off this afternoon or this evening, I should say, Leeds United have made an offer to sign Sunderland youngster Mason Kotcher according to the Telegraph the 17 year old has spent some time at Thorpe Arch on trial whilst he's had a trial with Arsenal as well the report claims that the youngster faces an uncertain future at Sunderland and Leeds want to sign him full time it's claimed compensation, off, uh, compensation offer has been lodged with Sunderland by Leeds and the move is on the cards ahead of the summer we know Sunderland are a bit of a selling club as well if the, if the price is right uh, listen if there's a decent amount of compensation there Sunderland will do their due diligence and sell their player they've done that plenty of times um, over the past however many months and, and years and all that good stuff so potentially we've got another one coming through and and Kotcher listen we've we don't know that much about him but when you've got Charlie Crew, who is now in the Leeds United setup you've got Archie Gray who came into the Leeds United setup at 17 years of age as well the pathway for Leeds United youngsters is just unbelievable and players like Kotcher Players like even Eddie Nketiah, when we go back to players that we've had on loan, knew that Leeds' pathway has been nothing short of exceptional over the past 10 to 15 years. Even when you go back to Moa, Byram, Taylor and co, Lewis Cook, you know, players of that ilk. And then you can go even further back, Aaron Lennon, James Milner. It's always been there with Leeds United and it's been sort of ingrained within the club for, a, well, for, for their entire existence, Leeds' entire existence. So Kotcher will be looking at that and his agent will be speaking to him and saying look there is a pathway for you at Leeds United if you're good enough so that's really nice news as well Leeds clearly rating which is nice Leeds actually go over some youngsters in it being in the news instead of Leeds just getting poached and City in Madrid looking at the likes of Archie Gray which doesn't do anything for your psychology Leeds' player of the season has been discussed and I spoke about it earlier on on the stream. It was, it's Rutter, it's Somerville, it's Ampadu that's been spoken a lot of. Obviously, the 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 sort of, um, the big uh, discussion is going on at the end of the season where you can pay to get down there. Farker will be down there. Other Leeds players will be down there. And we're speaking about the championship player of the season, but also who's your Leeds United player of the season? That's what I want to get from you guys. For me, I mentioned earlier, but I think it is Somerville just, but I think Rutter's done so well in terms of just this donkey work that he does for Leeds United the fact that he brings Leeds up the pitch nobody's talking about Byron goal the other night the fact that Rutter beat four men to get in that position he's been doing that week in week out for Leeds United dropping deep literally into a defensive position being that press resistant player who gets the ball into the feet back to the defender and he's able to turn and bring Leeds up the pitch he's been so important when teams have been trying to press as he is a vital cog and really when you look at it could Jade and Anthony have fit into that Christ or Somerville role this season if Somerville wasn't there or wasn't performing and maybe performed or had the ability to perform at an a Somerville level or even greater I don't quite know I'm not 100% sure I know for Bournemouth when he was in the championship he was brilliant but he wasn't boasting numbers like Somerville's boasted this year but Rutter is in such a conversation right now with Somerville in my opinion in terms of Leeds is player of the season and, and, and Ampadu's there as well but Somerville and, and Rutter it is a cat's cock hair splitting them right now but I would just go with Somerville but that the work Rutter does is nothing nothing short of of, of exemplary right now and uh, what a player he has been and I want to speak on you know just in general as well the, the player of the season I would make him player of the season for the championship as well the interesting is the young player of the season I'd probably give it to Johnny Rowe at Norwich to be honest with you I think Archie's been great but I think Johnny Rowe has just been superb for a young player this season. I think Archie's in the conversation. I mentioned it on the stream. Who else can you give it to? But I have had a little bit of a takeaway and, and had a little bit of a thought. And yeah, Johnny Rowe's probably the one I'd give it to. And the manager of the year, it just has to go to Kieran McKenna in it. For what he's done, it is, you know, top of the league, 87 points. They're going to break 90 points with what they did in League One, with the squad that they've got right now, which, you know, some people could argue it's not even a top six squad. What a remarkable job he has done. Uh, Kieran McKenna so yeah I think I'd give it to Somerville wouldn't give it to Farquhar or Archie Gray let me know what you think in the comment section below but the Leeds player of the year as well so interested to hear what you guys say uh, say on that one as well but we heard earlier on uh, Gruev you know what's going to be going on with him uh, is he going to be back in the side there's potential for him to be back in which I think is massive it's going to be a real 
interesting one to, to see how he goes about picking this midfield too. Does he go with continuity from the last game of Archie and Ampadu? Maybe, but um, it's going to be an interesting period of time to see, to see what happens there. But let me know in the comment section below what you would do. Bamford, he, he was speaking as well about uh, sort of keeping the almost hallmarks in this side, the people in this side who have got us where we're at. And I don't think that means Joseph's coming in, to be honest, everybody. I think Bamford's going to remain in the side. And I'm okay with that, really, when you look at the general consensus. Archie Gray, uh, I wanted to talk about this as well. In the Premier League, what happens when we go up to the Premier League? There's a couple of reports stating this morning that he could be sold on if Leeds are unable Guys, I'm saying reports, reports and rumours. There's a lot of people who seem to get upset and think that this is what I'm saying. It's reports and rumours that Archie may be sold on if Leeds get to the Premier League. If we cannot hike up enough funds for your Jack Harrisons, for your Aronsons, for your Christiansons, the players from for your Rockers, the players out on loan who may not be able to get as a decent market value. Now, this is something that could happen 100%. I'm not saying it will, but I think the pawn in all of this is going to be Jack Harrison. And that's that's why we kind of need Jack Harrison's performances to be of a really, really decent level because if Jack isn't performing at a decent level and Everton might not take that punch on him, they might not take that risk if it is 20 million and above, especially with what's going on with them at the minute. But you're hoping that another club is going to come in for him. But you're hoping that it's probably going to be a newly promoted club. If Luton stay up, could they go for him as almost like a replacement for Andros Townsend or whatever, if he's to come off that right instead? Could it be a bit of competition for Doherty? I'm not 100% sure, but I don't know if Jack's going to be your Crystal Palaces, your Brentfords. I don't think that happens, to be honest with you. So you are looking at a Sean Dyche system and just hoping that they put up the money. And the, the reason people are talking about Archie Gray is potentially being that collateral is because you're going to earn a lot of money from Archie, Ga Archie Gray pretty quickly because of how brilliant he's been and he's a young English talent so let's hope that that does ha doesn't happen let's hope we can accrue funds because we're still going to have to accrue funds next season but if Leeds are to go up anyway you're feeling that the financial burden will definitely lessen um, but we will probably have to have one eye on selling some of our assets that really desperately need to be sold on really when you're looking at the availability for Leeds United and you look at those financial commitments that we have to these players and um, yes yeah, so it's going to be fascinating to see how this one goes but yeah everybody let me know what you think in the comment section below make sure you check out the merchandise it's been an absolute pleasure and we will see you on the other side we've just done a podcast as well which is available to members for one week only and uh, patreon uh, members as well as as every week uh, happens with those guys but let me know what you think, think in the comment section below everybody fascinated to hear and we'll be back tomorrow Cheers. Which one of these match? I'm looking at Coventry and I'm saying this is Coventry away. They held us to a frustrating 1-1 draw at home. If we go out and play a really good game away at Coventry, for me, that's the wellness check for the rest of the season. I'll have as much confidence as I have had since we've been playing in January um, that we're going to continue to get the results we need to get to get an automatic promotion and maybe potentially win the league. It's not to say that if we don't win away at Coventry, that won't happen. But for me, Farka has an opportunity to, I think, put an indelible stamp on this season and say, listen, this is who we are. That's where we're going to be until the last gun is fired. Are you looking at any of these matches and you think this is a bit of a bellwether for us? Or for you, are they just all the same? You've got to win all of them. Yeah, um, uh, I think they're all really hard. I'll be honest. I think they're all really tough games for Leeds. I, Don't I, I tell me that QPR away is going to be that hard. <laughs> Do you know the only reason I say that, the only reason I say that, and believe it or not, it's not going on superstition. It is going on just the fact that they're going to be scrapping for the lives, Gabe. And we all yeah. know how these things, yeah. that, you know, I, I said it sort of earlier on in the season, these these bottom six teams become top six teams toward the end of the season. They just go on these stupid runs where you can't, there's no rhyme or reason why it's happened. They don't have the calibre players that we have, but they just go on this stupid set of runs because they're scrapping for their lives. They're almost able to get, you know, a 10 out of 10 performance two or three times out of six when throughout the entire season, the max they've been able to get is six or seven. It's weird. Yeah. Football is weird like that. So, um, you know, yeah. So that's the only reason I look at that game and think. I think you look at all of them, Gabe, and, and really... Sunderland, Blackburn, probably the two get the two teams who really haven't got anything 
to play for. I even think when you look at Southampton at the end of the season, they're going to want to finish strong, I think, especially against potentially a playoff contender in Leeds if, 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 yeah. you know, if, if we aren't in the top two. So I think four of the sides that we've got to play have a have well they do they have they have things to play for 